Hello everyone. Welcome to Manubatra's Law and Legal News podcast. Let us begin with the news highlights for October 6th. Starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court while rejecting Delhi government stand the state authority for mental health services can continue to function as it is under Mental Health Care Act 2017. The court has held that the new enactment requires state governments to constitute a new body, the state mental health authority within a period of 9 months. The Delhi High Court has directed RML Hospital and Tihar Jail authorities to ensure about the Kashmiri separatist leader Altaf Ahmed Shah who has been in custody since 2018 in terror funding case and is shifted to AIMS Delhi after he was diagnosed with renal cancer. The Delhi High Court while denying bail to a man accused of raping his fiancée multiple times on the pretext of their planned marriage has held that mere fact of being engaged does not mean that the accused can sexually assault, beat or threaten her. The central government has appointed Delhi High Court judge Justice Dinesh Kumar Sharma as the presiding officer of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Tribunal which will review the ban imposed on the Popular Front of India PFI and its affiliated organizations. Moving on to the High Court of Bombay, the Bombay High Court has granted bail to former Maharashtra Home Minister Anand Deshmukh in a money laundering case being investigated by the ED. However, Deshmukh will continue to remain in prison as he is in custody for other cases too. The Bombay High Court while hearing an appeal against family court's refusal to grant divorce to the husband on the ground that cruelty is not proven as held that a wife expressing a desire to work does not amount to cruelty under Hindu marriage act. That is all for today. Thank you and have a great day ahead.